Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. We've got our Super Bowl teams today Eagles, Patriots. Uh, this video is probably going to come out on Friday, even though I'm recording it on Wednesday. Uh, but, you know, I'm real jacked up for the Super Bowl, man. Let me know in the comment section who you guys think is going to win that game. I am going Eagles all the way. But, of course, if you guys have watched my channel, you know I'm an Eagles fan. So I might be a little bit biased, but I still think they're the better team overall. And I think it's our time, baby. I think we're due. So I'm picking us, even though, you know, you never know. It's the Patriots. It's a tough game. But uh, either way, I said I put out some Patriots plays, but I'm definitely, you know, I'm going to save that till after the Super Bowl because I don't want to use the Patriots offense and I want I don't want to be beating my Eagles defense. Uh, I'm trying to will this team to victory. That's why I'm constantly using the Eagles <laughs> offensively and beating the Patriots defensively. So other than that, this is a tip video of what I'm going to do in this video here is show you guys how to pre-snap, recognize what coverage you're looking at, whether it's two, three, four, man coverage, single high, double high, or double safety, <laughs> double high, <laughs> single high safety, or whatever whether it's a uh, cover two man uh, or whether you're looking at cover six or cover nine. I'm going to show you guys how to recognize what these defenses are pre-snap and then I'm going to show you how to beat them. So let's go ahead and let's get into this. I don't want to spend, I don't want this video to be too long. I'm trying to make my video short if you guys haven't noticed. Hit the like button if you appreciate it because I know a lot of people wanted that a long time ago. So I'm going to go with one of my more favorite plays. I'm going to go with the fork out of the gun eagle slot because that play can beat just about anything. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I'm just going to go straight up random play. So right out the gate, this looks like it's it, it looks like a man coverage, a cover two or a uh, a cover two man. I'm saying that because of the alignment of the cornerbacks are directly in front of the receivers, and it looks like I have two high safeties. Now this could be a cover one robber which would be um, one of the safeties would drop down to a yellow zone. So I basically have to watch what the safeties do the second I hike the ball. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cheat here. We're going to look at the play art on the defensive side. I'm going to show play art, and I didn't I messed it up. Hit the wrong button there. Now I'm messing everything up. So there we go. We have this. We have the cover two man, just like I predicted. Uh, real simple. Like I said, all you really have to look for when you come out in these type of formations is what are the safeties doing uh, since they're f way further back. If it was, if the corners were further back and they weren't aligned directly over the receivers, I would say it was probably like a cover four zone. Uh, but it's a pretty good giveaway that it's a uh, it's a cover two man based off of the fact that the cornerbacks are lined up right in front of the receivers, right in the face, and uh, the two safeties are pretty high back. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the next play. Let's take a look at what we have. Coming up next. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit harder for myself, and I'm going to base a line. We're going to continue to base a line here, although that's a pretty interesting look. This almost looks like it's like an all-out blitz uh, man coverage or something like that based off of what I saw. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that realistically, I mean, this is not a good formation for this, for what the offense I'm running anyway, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is a man coverage. So let's go ahead and let's show the player on the defense. Looks like an all-out blitz man. Um, it is a man coverage, but it's not all out blitz. So I wasn't wrong necessarily. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, from, from the looks of it, it almost looks like the way that they're lined up. And I know it's my fault for base aligning, uh, but, uh, but this is what the play would typically look like. So we're still getting man coverage. I'd like to get some zone coverages here if I could. So since basically the computer was doing a lot of looks that you don't typically see online, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show some uh, some looks that you're going to see more typically. Um, something like the cover three sky here. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. Now the cover three sky, uh, a lot of people will base align this and it'll almost look like a cover two or a cover four because the safeties are back. So whenever you're going to start, you know, your pre-snap read, they call, they call it a shell typically. Like this is a, a cover four shell is what it looks like or a cover two shell because of how far back the cornerbacks are. I would say based off of the ratio from where the cornerbacks to the safeties are, it looks like a cover four. And that's basically the look. So once I hike the ball, I want to be looking at my two safeties on the back end there and my corners too. If it's a cover four, they're all going to drop back. But you really have to watch the back end to see exactly what coverage it is because in most coverages your linebackers are always going to pretty much drop into yellow zone so you really don't have to watch them because you know they're going to do the same thing pretty much every time but you have to watch your back end your safeties and your corners so when i hike the ball and i see one guy drop down i know right away what the play is and i just kind of threw it out of bounds there but either way i know right away once i see one of those safeties drop i know what the play is even if it's a hidden coverage because a lot of people are smart enough to base a line uh, because it doesn't affect the play if you base a line your safety there your free safety is still going to get where he needs to go so like i said make sure that when you snap the ball you're watching the two safeties are most important the cornerbacks you know the safeties give away the play more than the cornerbacks but just watch your two safeties and they'll give away the play the second you see one drop you know exactly where it's going and i totally just mess that up 
So most people, before they get to their alignment, will be smart enough to base align, and uh, that'll make, you know, because this, especially in a cover three, it's definitely smart to base align a cover three because you don't, you know, your safety's still going to get to their spot there on the outside, whether they're down in the box like this. I mean, unless, unless they want to put them in a hard flat or something, um, if, if they're all the way back here, they'll definitely get to where they need to go. If it's a hard flat, a lot of, there's our cover three plays with hard flats, they definitely won't get down there <laughs> in time, uh, most times anyway. But it's definitely not uh, a bad thing for them to do it like this, where they have the safety back. Uh, but like I said, if you watch those safeties, uh, that's all you got to do. It's going to give away the play right away, and you're going to know exactly what it is as I get sacked there. But it doesn't really matter. So let's just go ahead and let's move on to another coverage. So now one of the ones that a lot of people really have issue with is cover six and cover nine. And I'm going to explain the difference between them, even though there really isn't much difference between them. Uh, the cover six is right at the top there. You can see how on basically what basically what this is is on the left side you have um, you have a, a, a what they call it, a curl flat, I think is what it is. I don't exactly remember, but the purple zone. Uh, the purple zone is what you see more typically in a cover three, and on the other side, you have a cloud flat or a hard flat, which is typically what you see in cover two. That's basically all this is. One side is a cover three, the other side is a cover two. So you use the same principles you would uh, when you're playing against a cover two or a cover three. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick, I'm gonna, I want to show, there's all, there should be a cover nine too. Yeah, here's cover nine. Exact same thing. It's just flipped. You can see the difference. Cover nine you have the the blues the the light blue zone on the left side cover six you have the light blue zone on the right side that's it there's no other difference between cover six and cover nine they're the exact same play so we'll just go ahead and we'll pick one it doesn't really matter so I find the easiest way to diagnose a cover six or a cover nine is one safety typically plays back deeper. You actually saw the safety on the right there drop back a little bit. But if you see the alignment, because they have to cover more field, they're typically back further. And then you can also see on the left side here, the cornerback and the safety, because they cover the uh, the, the quarter third on the left and they cover the, the middle third there. Um, they're kind of like closer together. So that can kind of give the play away. The fact that typically the, uh, the alignment is your one safety is typically back further than the other and that's how you can tell which side is the um is the uh the light blue side so let's go ahead and let's show the play out real quick so there you can see now we have we know that i forget if this is a cover six or cover nine but you can see how that one safety is playing back a little bit deeper it's a little bit off aligned and that's how it gives away that you have that that's the cover two side so basically now that i know it's a cover two cover two is a really simple uh concept to beat uh, if I can show the play out here, uh, you just need a high and a low. I mean, that's that's typically how it goes. Um, so here I have, you know, Aguilar and Ertz uh, playing high and low. So I'm just going to have to kind of make my read. You can see the, the streak there drops him back, and you just have a real simple cover two route. So this is just, you know, like I said, really easy concept. You just have to kind of break it down. A lot of people see cover six and cover nine. They don't really know how to go at it, but it's a really simple setup. You just have half the field's cover three. The other half is cover two. It's that simple. So you just basically have to do your cover two and your cover three principles is pretty much uh, what works it. So like if I wanted to, I mean, I know LeGarrette Blunt is not really a great option as a receiver. I didn't really think this far ahead, but since it's a cover three concept over there, I can basically uh, make a play just like this. I mean, this route, we all know that beats cover three, and since this is essentially a cover three on the left side, you can attack that all day. So that's something, and then like I said, I showed you guys how to beat cover two. So whether it's cover six, cover nine, you just have to kind of make your read as far as what side it is. Most people run the same cover six or cover nine the entire game anyway. Um, so you can basically just watch the, the post, uh, not the post, now, what do they call it? The after play, when it shows the, uh, the previous play, you just kind of read that. If they're running cover six, cover nine, you know what it is, and then you just make your adjustment that way. Um, so that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on. So that's it. That, this video was pretty much uh, meant to, uh, to show people how to attack uh, cover six and cover nine, but I kind of threw in a couple other things along the way. So if you guys want to see more tip videos, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.